One of my favorite tools up here in the lair is the digital oscilloscope. That's the digital oscilloscope. This thing is like the Swiss army knife of electronics measurement tools, and it lets you visually see an electrical signal and how it changes over time. Check it out. Here's a remote control. Have you ever wondered how these things communicate with your TV? With the oscilloscope, I can see the signal that's being transmitted from the remote control to the television. Here's what it looks like when I want to turn off the TV. This is what it looks like when I change channels. This is a really high-end oscilloscope. I can adjust the size of the waveform and the time that I'm measuring the waveform. Waveforms are so cool, I'm even wearing one on my shirt. It sounds like this. I'm wearing a sound. I use this baby right here for every electronics project that I ever work on. For one build on the show, I used it to debug the anemometer circuit. I want to thank everybody for spending time with me and my oscilloscope. We'll see you later. Let's go. I've got a confession to make. Soldering might not be as cool as cutting, grinding, or welding, but when it comes to must-have tools for building electronics, it don't get no hotter than the solder. A soldering station has two main components. A soldering iron. This thing gets hot, up to 700 degrees hot. Then, we have the solder. This is the magic behind it all. It's a special metal alloy that melts and helps fuse components together so they stay on the circuit board. For example, here's the circuitry I built for the personal airbag. Without this thing, we wouldn't be able to detect when the person was falling and when to deploy the airbag. From the 6x6 all-terrain vehicle, this was a battery management system that sat on top of each of our batteries for the anger management demolition derby. There's a lot of solder in here. Soldering isn't all fun and games. It's pretty dangerous. These fumes, they're toxic. You don't want to breathe them in. And the stuff can get in your eyes. It's not good. So even though soldering isn't that sexy and it's a little bit dangerous, without soldering, all of the electronics in all of our builds would have fallen apart, literally. So your car won't start and you think it might be the battery? There's one way to find out for sure. The multimeter. The multimeter. The multimeter, yeah, extreme. When it comes to electronics, this sleek little baby right here can measure just about anything. Buttons, look at all these buttons. This thing can measure all sorts of aspects of an electronic system like voltage, current, resistance, capacitance, and so much more. So if I want to test if I have a good connection, just set this to continuity, touch the probes, I'm good. Buttons. The multimeter is definitely one of the best diagnostics tools we have up here in the lair. It's so versatile, it can even measure temperature and tell you if you're sick. Uh-oh. Doctor! 